Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Go Smart Gaming. I'm Christopher, and this is EU4, one of Paradox's grand strategy games, and a game that I personally sunk way too many hours into. In fact, with the numbers of hours that I've sunk into it, I should be pretty good at it, but I probably am not as good as I should be. Doesn't really matter, I always have a fun time playing the game anyway. And I thought that I wanted a series on this channel for this. Uh, Maybe in the future we'll also do a Crusader Kings 2 series, and you know what, maybe even a Horse of Iron series. A game I've never played, but you know, sometimes should be the first time. But for this, we are going to play a nation that I have played uh, several times before. Successful sometimes, less successful other times. So hopefully we'll do a nice clean run of it this time. The nation in question is actually the Mamluks, down here. Now the reason why I like the Mamluks is because of the challenges they provide. First of all, you have the very real threat of the Ottomans. They are always going to be a big pain in their ass in the later game. Right from the very beginning, they're not that big of a deal. But as soon as they start conquering to the east, they're going to be bordering you and are going to be very, very interested in your provinces to the north. On the other hand, it's a very sprawling nation. Right from the beginning you can see you have the provinces to the left, you have provinces to the south, and you have provinces to the north. And the way I play it, I usually expand both west, south, and east, all the way over to the Timurids. So you're gonna have a very sprawled out nation, which makes uh, warring a little bit difficult, because you have a lot of troop movements. Uh, but it's a challenging way to play the game, I think. And it is by no means a weak country, it's actually, I think, a superpower already from the beginning. But you know what, without much further ado, I say let's get into the game. And we're obviously gonna go with Iron Man mode, because who plays on normal mode, right? So this is the Mamluk Sultanate, and as I said, it's a fairly sprawled out right from the very beginning, and we're gonna sprawl out even more as we go along. Now usually I always start with conquering Fezen and Tunis, and with Tunis I always want to go all the way up to Jerba, just to get the little border, sorry, the little uh, gulf crossing here, so that I don't have to pay that much of attention in the later game. However, for this playthrough, I was actually thinking of doing something a little bit more different. See, one of the biggest problems for the Mamluks are allies. We're kind of far away from any potential good allies, so what I usually try to do is get Austria as an ally, which I usually can, and that will cause Ottomans to be a little bit more restrictive with attacking. You could go for Castile, but the problem with Castile is that they're very far away, which means they're never going to join you any, in any wars, or rather any offensive wars at least. Thing is the same goes for Austria actually, so they are both powerful allies absolutely, but not very effective in offensive wars. Down here we don't really want any alliances because of the fact that for the most part, we're gonna want to conquer these lands, so we don't really have any options down here either. So we're gonna basically have to look to the east, and the issue is that Karakionlo, or QQ as we usually call it, is a good option. Not from the very beginning, because as we can see if we go into our uh, diplomacy screen, we can see that we're actually being rivaled by QQ. Now, what you can do is basically don't rival them yourself. Start building up your uh, relations with them. As soon as the cooldown is over, what you can do is probably get an alliance from them. They are actually a pretty good ally. However, they also are in control of a few provinces, or at least one province, Baghdad, which you want in order to be able to create Arabia. So if we go into our decisions and policies, we have form Arabia where we need a couple of uh, promises, of which Baghdad is one. So if we ally QQ, 
we basically uh, lock ourselves out from being able to form Arabia. Now, forming Arabia, of course, is just... It, it isn't necessary for your uh, game, but it's a nice thing, thing to do. So, for this playthrough, I'm actually going to try and play the Vassal game as much as possible. Now, I have done that in the past. What I accidentally did then was blob out Hages way too much, making them get way too much Liberty Desire. That was not good. So we're gonna try to make them big, but not too big. So the first on the agenda is going to be to make Medina into my vassal, because one of the uh, uh, events that can happen in the game is that Hages inherits the throne of Medina. But in order for do, to do that, we do need to have Medina vassalized. Now we're already guaranteeing them, as we can see here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by improving relations with them. And as soon as we uh, get the cooldown off of the uh, diplomats, we're going to ally them because they're they're willing to ally us immediately. And we are going to be able to get them to uh, become our vessels pretty soon. We are also going to want to uh, ally Cyprus, get them. There's uh, an event as well here in order to get them to be our vassals, but we can't get them to be our vassals by the normal means. It has to be through that event. So we are going to start by improving relations with them as well. Now as for expansions, as I said, I usually start by going west into Fessan and Tunis. Uh, Fessan is being guaranteed by Tunis, so if we attack Fessan, Tunis is going to come to their aid. However, this time I might actually go for QQ immediately. If we look at our diplomatic screen for Faddle, we see that they actually do have a claim already in QQ, meaning we can start making Faddle a little bit bigger, going in here. And something that I normally don't do, I've always been a little bit hesitant about attacking QQ. Currently they have two vassals, uh, sure it's not the biggest of vassals, but they do have vassals. They don't have any uh, allies right now, but we're just in the start of the game, so we're gonna see some of those coming in as well. However, we should be able to outmaneuver them and outperform them in a war pretty early on. So I think that's actually what we're gonna do. So. We don't have to do any uh, claiming here, as we already have a claim through our vessel. So what we're gonna do for our third diplomat, I think... I mean, I still want to attack Fesson and Tunis, so I think we're actually just gonna start making a claim over here, actually. Probably, if we go to... Uh, influence actions, they would actually be up for vassalization. I don't know if that's an that might actually be interesting in a way. If we could get Fesson to exp expand into Tunis instead of ourselves, that could be an option actually. Hmm, I'll have to think about that actually. But for now, you know what? Why don't we do that? Do we have any... No, exactly, we don't even have any minuses here. Let's actually do the same as Tunis and proclaim our guarantee for them. This is starting out to be quite interesting already, actually. <laughs> so, what I want to do straight away is actually make our armies look a little bit better. Because right now we have three armies and they aren't really set up the way that I want to. So we want them to conform to the uh, combat width that we currently have, as well as the flanking bonus, which is, you know, 0% because we're at the start of the game. So what that means is that we want armies of 20 and we want 4 cavalry in them. So if you look at all the armies have 3 cavalry units, which, is, which means that we're basically going to have to remove some cavalry units. Uh, so I'm basically going to take... Let's take this army and just remove uh, all of that. Move that one into here. We're going to be fine for that army. Now, 
we are not making that much money with Lisa, so if we're making a bit of money, but we're not making that much money, so we're not going to be able to feel our entire uh, force limit, sadly. So I think I'm gonna have a half stack of armies over here, which means that we are going to have an army of 8 and 2. We're gonna have to remove that one, and you're gonna go bye-bye. And we're gonna take this one, we don't need that for now, so we're gonna go bye-bye with you too. So that is gonna be our starting armies. You can move up there, you can actually start moving into... Probably not theirs, actually. You can go there, and you can go there. So that's a good start, actually. Uh, we're gonna use our light ships to uh, just protect the trade for now, I think. I usually don't have any issues with piracy or anything like that, so we should be fine by just protecting trade. As for the south, well, we're gonna have to do that later on. So that's that, we have our merchant set up already by the game. When it comes to the navy, I n never really see any point in having a navy in the Mediterranean Sea. We're ne never going to be uh, have enough of a navy for the Ottomans anyway. So what I tend to do is actually, well, I can move it because there's we don't really know that much about Africa as of yet. So we're basically going to have to break it down and move everything over to. Uh, to the Red Sea here. And the good thing about this is that we basically don't need transport ships at all, at least not in the beginning. We're going to have to, well actually when we go down here, we're basically just going to be uh, fighting these nations. They tend to not ally that much with these nations. So we don't really need to go over here. And as soon as we get down here, we do have a crossing over here. So the need for transport ships in this part isn't that great, so we can just basically go all galleys, at least in the beginning. It's only inland seas in these three sea provinces uh, out here is not inland sea, so galleys aren't that good here. But the rest of the nations around are only going to be fielding galleys as well, galleys and transports. So we shouldn't have that much of a problem with that. So we're actually going to do that right away, we're going to break this down completely. And we're gonna wait a little bit with uh, creating the new fleet as we're not going to be down here just now. So with that set up, I think we're actually pretty good to go. No, we're not. We need to set up our advisors, obviously. Uh, we have a pretty good Sultan, but he's 72 years old, so he's not gonna be around anymore. So. We'll basically have to wait for that to... Uh, we're not going to set any focus right now. Uh, we're going to wait for the new Sultan to come around. See what that person's stats are. But we do need to set up a few advisors. So what do we have? We have your prestige. That's fine. We have trade efficiency spy network. We absolutely want trade efficiency. It's from military, fort defense and manpower. Manpower is always good. So let's do manpower. So we have a little bit better here. Now, when I started protecting Pheasant, we <laughs> immediately went over our diplomatic relations. That's fine. We are not going to suffer too much with that in the beginning. So, with that set up, I think we're actually good to go here. Start uh, ticking sticking along, start moving up to QQ in order to, uh, I think we're gonna start a war very soon. So what they've done is they have allied Mikla, which one is that exactly, down here, that's fine. Uh, that's actually really good, we can probably take that very early on. He just wants a little royal marriage, absolutely. When Cyprus is joined trading, that doesn't really matter from my point, but I want to get Cyprus vassalized. Fellow also wants a royal marriage, that is fine. I'm gonna do that. Medina wants a royal marriage, absolutely. And we should be able to take the alliance right now from Medina. Perfect. 
Now, when I play this game, I the, the reason, the main reason why I'm not that good at this game is because I play it a little bit too fast. I don't really take in this stuff into consideration as much as I should. You'll probably see that throughout this playthrough. Hopefully, it will be fine anyway. So yeah, they have Mikla Fester Ally, that's actually fine. I wonder if I want to move down my half stack army to them immediately. Yeah, we're gonna move our half stack down here. Can I? No, I cannot because we need to get a little bit of access from these first. You can start moving down here until I can get the access that I want. There we go. So now you can move down here. We're also, we're also gonna want some generals and I really really hope that we can start getting some good siege generals because sieging is going to be really really paramount when we attack QQ. Uh, when we start getting into idea groups we're absolutely going to go for offensive ideas to get even more, uh, more siege ability. That's going to be really important as well. So let's see if we can get. It. Let's actually put our uh, ruler here because he's he's gonna die anyway. So let's just make that process a little bit faster. And well, we got one pip at least. So let's put him over here and let's see if we can get another uh, leader here. General, no siege there, but actually that's pretty good for him. For that army, that's good. Actually, before we continue, we probably should be setting rivals as well. So, since we're never gonna get anywhere with the Ottomans, we can always use Ottomans as our rivals. As for Lithuania, well, we can take Lithuania uh, when the event with Poland comes. We'll see what what happens with that. I don't really know why Lithuania would rival us. We're never ever going to go to war, at least not in the foreseeable future. So. I don't know, I don't know. Fine, let's do you. As for QQ, obviously we're gonna rifle them since we're going to be going to war with them. If we're able to, we're absolutely going to humili humiliate them in order to get some extra power power projection. That's definitely something that we want. So at this point, I should think that we're good to go to attack. Yeah, as you, we see immediately, we get the uh, Polish event. They went for the Jagiellon, which means that our rivalry with Lithuania broke through immediately. Now, at this point, I don't think we actually have to pick a rival. I think we're just going to have to wait and see. We're not going to want to attack Aragon, France, Timurus, or Venice, any of them. So let's just leave that rivalry be. What we are going to do is we are actually going to declare war on QQ. And... Does Miklaf have any other allies? They have who? Dongula is this nation. Oh, I'm not. I do want that na that land, but we're not gonna start a war. I think we actually might have to do that. Now that I think about it, you know what? Let's do that. Well, we're off to a <laughs> we're off to a good start here. I also want to say that I'm actually playing on the hard difficulty. I'm not playing on the normal difficulty. Never played on hard. Thought I'd give it a shot. Didn't seem that big of a deal to me. It just gives the uh, other nations some benefits. But I don't think that's uh, I don't think anything had to do with like combat or anything like that. Without the uh, exception of the manpower modifier, but. Other than that, I think that we're good to go here. So let's uh, reconquest on this little province right here. And we're gonna do Miklaf be co belligerent. Meaning that uh, when we eventually take over their uh, provinces, we are actually going to not have that much of a aggressive expansion negative impact, which is exactly what we want. Now Medina is obviously not going to join us right now, and we're not even close to have the... Well, we're actually kind of close already, but that's going to be fine, we don't need them. So, you know what? QQ, it's time to go. So, we're gonna park our army right here. We're actually, we're gonna go there. You are going to attack them immediately. 
So what we want here is we're actually gonna split it in half as soon as we get here. We're gonna go in here and siege that down. Now we are in war with Dongle as well. I have no idea if they can even get to us. Can they? Not, nope, not right now. That is fine. We're gonna take a little bit of a few troops over here just to see she this down and we basically have Miklav done for. Of course they have a good general. Absolutely good. Perfect. Let's just see what they can do with that. Now for the uh, terrains of Ma uh, Mamluks, it's mostly dry land, so we don't really have any way to uh, make the move into mountains or anything like that. So defensively, it's really nothing to talk about. Dry lands is just nothing when it comes to uh, battles or anything like that. There's no uh, negatives or positives or anything like that. So for now, they're moving into... Uh, our fort over here. I'm actually gonna move back. I think there is no fort next to this, right? So that's gonna be in our uh, control for now. Funnel is moving in. Well, actually, they're moving in already. That's actually probably fine. We're gonna move up here. Because they're actually moving away. Hmm. So what's his best bet? I think the best bet here is actually just pull this together and move to these. And get them out of the fight immediately. Should be good. They're gonna move in. Gonna be a big fight, I think. Well, we'll see. So this is one of the first events for our religious system. If we go to the religious system, we have uh, Sunny. And with the sun we have what is called legalism and mysticism. And since I'm not going to be playing the religious game right now, I would say that going for legalism is usually the one that I go for. For the fact that you get a national tax modifier, manpower modifier, technology cost, all of the good stuff. Go mysticism does give you more of armies, which is actually pretty good as well. But for now, let's just see what we have here. If we move to mysticism, we get tolerance and tolerance, we get some local unrest down and tax income with monthly autonomy. With legalism we get years of legitimacy, which yearly sorry, yearly legitimacy, which is really interesting for us. Admin takedown, that's actually pretty good, so we're definitely gonna go for that one. So now we're already up to 18% actual tax, national tax modifier and 18% national manpower modifier, which is, you know, very, very good. Right, so we have our first battle down. We're gonna split this up again. We're gonna see you are going to Halab. You're going back up there, right? So we're just gonna move, not you. Move you up there. And how's the siege down here? Going well, Dongola is moving up now. That is fine. Is this a 340? Yes, this is a 340, so we don't need everyone here. Uh, you can move up there. As we can see, they do have uh, at least a fair bit amount of uh, troops. A little bit more troops than we do currently. They were able to siege that back. We're gonna siege it right back. If we want to attack them right here, that's gonna actually hurt quite a bit. Uh, no, sorry, but yeah, we don't want that. It's fine. They're removing basically everything in here, which is really good for me, because that means that they're just wasting manpower. That's very, very good for me. And we have our target under control again. And finally, it's just... Potting around on here, yes, it's going to be sieging some provinces, one after another. That's perfectly fine. Dongle is going to start probably almost carpet sieging it down here. We actually got a break here. That's interesting. How many people did we have? 940. That's not enough for us, actually, I think. Ah, we're gonna leave that be for a while. That is fine. So now that we moved out, they're basically gonna move back in. So this is probably what we're going to be doing here. I see that down. They try to move back. I attack them and they're going to probably break that siege as soon as I start attacking them. 
As for that, as for our estates, which ones are we interested in? We might actually want the Admirals to be a little bit better. I mean, we already have the bonus national tax modifier from the legalism religious uh, thingy. So I think that we're actually going to go with the Admirals on this one. Because I don't want to lose the... Uh, or actually, now that I think about it, we actually probably don't want to spend money for these to become loyal again. So actually we're gonna side with the Ulima and we're going to call Diet for the armies to get them back on track. As for the merchant skill, now that I think about it, we might actually want to do this. We would like to get some diplomatic support. So if we spend some prestige, we can get some loyalty and then we can just demand diplomatic support immediately for some lovely lovely diplomatic tech points we can actually do the same for the lima now that they've uh, gotten their loyalty we can get some administrative 100 administrative power for 20 loyalty that's actually really really good let's do that so profiteering in halaib i think that's pronounced uh fars which was fars it's I don't remember where Forest is. Let's find Forest. It's over here. I don't care about their opinions of me, actually, so... Do we want some minus to look and rest and trade power? Or do I want goods produced? So what's, what about Halaib? Which is that? Is, is it the entire region? Or is it just... Uh, it's probably... No, it's actually just this one. They're producing slaves. I mean, do we want more slaves? I mean, you always want more slaves, right? Uh, I don't know if that's... Actually, what's the unrest here? It's minus 2.9. You know what? Let's do that. That's fine. So we're attacking here and we're probably going to be getting a troop coming in to help. Or will they make it? No, they will not. So we've done that. That is fine. We're going to actually do this and stand on that province for now. Hopefully this is done soon. We can actually start moving you, I think. Start moving you up to Asuwais. This is actually looking good. Where are you going? You're going to Sinjar. That is perfect. That's what we can do is we can start moving in here. Let's take care of this. Actually, you don't even have to do that. You just wait a bit. Now we move in and we take care of this little army over here. Which should be completely fine. Because they're attacking us for some reason, Why, even if we were the ones to move in. And now they're going to move back into this little province, probably. Nope. Saw us coming in. So now we're actually at a little bit of an advantage here. So let's start moving in to these provinces. Hegas has... I don't really know what Hegas is doing. They probably were going up here, I guess. You know what? You guys, you come with me, actually. I'm coming. And we're done. That pretty quick, actually. So this is one of the things that we probably want to feed to HS immediately. Uh, let's do that. See if we can actually piece these out immediately. That would be awesome. Can we? Not everything. Uh, what do we need? We are close to it. If we move this up, is this even going to make a difference? No, it is not. So we're just going to see if we can wait a bit to get that. There we go. So we can basically piece these out immediately. And it's not even going to cost us that much. Aggressive expansion, I think, 9.7, that's perfectly fine. So congrats, hey, just you've got some new territory to deal with. Here we go. So that's that. You're gonna go up here as well, and it's time to take care of Dongla as well. And I totally missed that these people are going here, so we're gonna go in and defend ourselves. 
Still dry lands, so no benefit to anyone. And they're, ugh, they're kicking our asses, actually. And that was not good. You see, this is what I do. This is why this is not going to go that well for me, I think. Uh, right. So a little bit of a misstep there. That's fine. We're going to come back to this. No problem. Don't worry. We're fine. So let's start moving you down here and start clearing this out. You can go and start clearing this out, actually. That's not cool. So I don't want these to lose loyalty now because we just uh, used them and we also don't want to lose stability. So we're going to have to... <laughs> We're gonna have to take that nice hit on the National Tax Modifier. That's beautiful. Uh, okay, sure, do that. They're taking back that province, that's fine for now. We cannot do anything else with Cyprus, that's fine. We are going to not offer allies because we're in a war. Just gonna wait with that. Can we do anything else, actually? We can't do run March, obviously. Uh, I think this is fine for now. You can actually start a little bit of counter building a spy network here in Tunis. What do we want to do here? Do we want to make these? Well, actually, now they're they're not in a war. You are in a war with Morocco because Morocco is attacking. No, Clemkin is attacking. I think. No, Morocco is attacking, so they are at war with Tlemcen, Fes, and Jared and Tagore. But now they're actually in a alliance, but Tunis, Tlemcen, and Tagore, that's not optimal, actually. Because you're only allied to Granada and Fes, and if we attack Tunis, that's actually better for us. If we can these on board, that's actually... Well, I think we're going to do that, actually. We are going to try and get these to be our vassal as well. So let's just wait for the uh, diplomat to get back. It's fine. So you're going to be sieging up there. That's fine. You can do that. While we take care of Dongola. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take anything, I'm probably not going to be able to, that's fine. You just go together and start reinforcing, we do have some manpower still, that's good. But you see, they, yeah, they have a lot of troops. And I'm also super not sure about what I'm doing right now, but that's fine. We are going to be uh, taking care of these now, I think. Always a bit of a risk to attack, but uh, seems to be going perfectly fine. Actually, should be able. To I actually should try and get a better general because my ruler wasn't that great of a general, was he? The fire isn't bad, but the rest not that good. Let's actually try and get another general going. If we can get something better, that is absolutely better. So you go take that army, because they have a 5-2, we only have a 2-2, so we really do need to counter as much as possible over here. You're almost fine. They do have two armies and I don't really know, I mean, look at that. They were minus 42 just a little bit while ago and now they're already up to uh, 40 and that's not cool game, not cool at all. Is there any... Negatives to this? Nope. Yeah, they've already taken that. That's not cool at all. They've already broken the uh, broken the walls at least, uh, as well. That's beautiful. Was this a siege general? Nope, not a siege general at least. I should probably try and just attack these because I don't want to lose another fort this early on. We're gonna get these ar this army on us as well. So we can get a claim on Eintab. That is what? That is that. That's cool, I think. Oh, 
why not? I don't care about their uh, their the diplomatic uh, opinion of us. So sure, fine. Free uh, free claim. That's cool. So yeah, now we're attacking and they're going to help immediately. Which I mean, we should be able to take the this army a whole lot better. Sure, they have actually a higher morale, they have a higher discipline, they have higher everything now that I think about it, so... But still, we're a, we should be doing better than this, I think. But we're not, so that's cool. <sighs> Fine. Well, we got something out of this war, at least. Hopefully we can get at least something else. When I get this army back... It might be a little bit in our favor, actually. So let's start moving you up a bit. If you use, could just siege this down, please, and not roll the ones. That would be okay. Why did you move? I need you. Gosh darn it! They've taken that. That's magnificent. Do we have any other? Still just for defense. That's not what I want. No. Like, can you just die as well? I mean, I don't need you anymore. So now that I move my army down, they're absolutely moving their armies down. Well, I can stay here then. Can I? That's fine. Did you roll another one? I mean, come. This is the this is the thing about EU4. Sometimes you are just not in a good role at all. So they're gonna be doing a bit of a core besieging apparently until they get down to our next fort. They're already at our fort up here, but that's fine. So if Tongola could just be taken care of, that would be great. Get a trader, that would be not we're making not very much money right now so we're not gonna be taking a better a better uh, advisor at any rate so i'll say we'll just take the trade power for now yeah yeah they are sieging our promises there we go dongola has been taken care of can we immediately well actually we are in a position to I we can claim on Thubakt, we're gonna do that and we're going to stop building that. We can probably move you out immediately. We're actually gonna remove that. Are we able to piece these out immediately? I hope we are. Yes, we are. Can we take some money from you? Yes, we can. Can we annul your treaties? Yes, we can. Do we want to do... Beja. So if we want to do a Beja, so let's just do that. And we're good. So now it's only us and QQ and everything else. Uh, yeah, let's go up. Uh, we're actually going to consolidate because we don't have any manpower left at this point. You to move up there and together and we're going to consolidate you as well. Can you, like, take that back, Aegis? Please? Please take that. Right. So what is the best option here? I mean, we really do need to take back our fort, I think. Start moving up here. You can start moving here. But finally, it's not looking good. <laughs> Poor guys. So we are done with Medina for now. I'm actually gonna keep that one for now because I can't vassalize them during a war anyway. So let's just have that one there. Just do the uh, improve relations for a bit. So you were not a siege general, you were. We're gonna just split you and move you directly into this. We're gonna move you up here. Yeah, I'm not taking this as I told as I told you to do. That's fine. You see, you are coming down here. We are going to move everything into this province. Why not? Well, 
well so you want to have some benefits that's actually fine I can spend those diplo and admin points I have no idea what this actually does so sure you hate me we won that war but we still lost a lot of troops again so if you can just you know not do that to us that would be excellent let's move in and try to retake this we're gonna move in and retake that as well you're not gonna be standing there you're gonna move down so you're gonna come down with your very not nice general So you're just gonna walk straight past us, is that what we're talking about here? Yep. Looks like it. Where are you going? Are you going down to here just perhaps? Yes, there. Right. Uh, we're gonna keep consolidating here in order to start building up some manpower again. This is actually kinda good, I think, if you could just stay there, but you're not. Okay. Fine. Where are you going right now? You're going to attack those. You are probably... Yeah, you're just gonna go attack them. Just gonna leave one here and start moving these down as well. And of course they're gonna move. We won that, but we're probably gonna lose this immediately. See, we can get some map or that's actually really good. I don't think that they're... Liberty Desire is that great right now. It's actually some zero, so we can get that that opinion back pretty fast, I think. Yep, yeah, thank you. Steal some manpower from you. Come on, little guys. Stick with it. Um, okay. Well, we're... Really? Everybody move in, please. I'm gonna lose another battle here. I'm gonna... Nope. We're good to go here. Well, actually, right now we can just merge everything and consolidate because we're losing so much troops right now. <laughs> so, hey, Jess, you're gonna have to help me out a bit, okay? Uh, we can remove so that you don't get any ideas to go down there because you absolutely don't have to. Um, would you look at that? Some water sort of shortage. I always like that. It would be really nice to get this fort back before they do anything else to me. But yeah, this general is not... <laughs> Having a good general in this game really do help. In some cases, I think, too much. Uh, if you have a really good general, you can win wars by just having a good general. You are going into... Saida, yep, that's... Where are you going? You're going into... Let's wait, are you going to... It doesn't look like you're going here. Where is that? That's not in this game. That's very unclear. Uh, but yeah, you are going in there. We're going down there. We're gonna have to help you out a bit, at least. Still want to go there? Yep, you yeah, still want to go there. You see, this general is just basically <laughs> destroying us, which is not nice. So, we're winning this war as well. And go back and consolidate. Try to get this fort back. Really struggling here. QQ is not fun to attack. I've learned that. And now our ruler is dead. So we can have a choice here. We can either have a average claim Sultan from an Egyptian heritage, we can have an average uh, claim from a Syrian heritage, or we can get a strong claim from a Sassian heritage. I don't really know why you would ever pick anything but this, because we also do get the armor tradition. So, yeah, let's hope for a really good uh, leader at least. 
and a 642 is a probably one of the better ones actually well we could have wanted more military absolutely but that means that we can also go into here and we can actually set a military focus because i do want my military power to or my military tech to go up a little bit faster so 968 that's actually pretty good and we can do a decision we can have less national unrest absolutely more legalism absolutely and we can also have more missionary strength i don't really care about that right now so let's just leave that be and let's hope that we can actually siege down this fort before we lose all our troops that would be also very very lovely so they want to give us a peace offer where we will cede provinces by the bundle uh no thank you we're gonna decline that so we're actually going to start uh, kicking your ass i hope so let's help our friends out down here should be good right even with reinforcements on their side yep and back into it and uh, consolidate uh, we also get a choice after we get our new Sultan, which is we can get either tax modifier or monthly autonomy change, we can get tolerance of the true faith, and we can get your le legitimacy, which none of these are actually interesting, so we're gonna go with the national tax modifier. So that's good, we got that done. How old was that guy, by the way? 40, so we're gonna have him for a while. Of course he has foreign spy detection, that's that's okay. Not a, so bad of a thing. But yeah, at this point in time we would definitely like to get this fort back, please. Nope. I'm gonna roll out one instead. Oh we actually didn't, we roll a, roll a way better one. So please just take this for me. Nope. This time you roll the one. Mm. Lovely. Super. So, hey Jess, you're actually good right now, can you, like, not be mad at me, I'm gonna... Okay, so Renaissance is about to happen as well, that's fine, how far are we, we're actually good to go for, at least... This, this is going to cost us, what, 600? We have, no, it's not gonna cost us 600, it's gonna cost us 590, no, we're gonna not gonna take that right now, we're in the middle of a war, we're gonna prob, hopefully we're gonna need our administer points after this war, so we're gonna wait with that. We're just gonna hope that this siege is over soon, before they can just take everything from us. It's fine, we can call that one. That's perfect. One down, several to go. No, we're not going to go in and attack them. Not a good choice. If I can, I actually just want to piece these out. Can I offer a white piece? No, we're now we're close to white piece right now. Fine. Can I start picking off? Do you want to piece out me with one promise now? That's good. But nope, we're not interested. We could actually start spending a little bit of money. We're actually doing okay money-wise. We're gonna start doing some mercenaries. Actually, how are we on calorie? One calorie here, and then I think we're good for you going astra uh, cube down there. We can move this there. We can move you down here. Now we get these two provinces back, that's good. Some Muslim archers here. So let's start building some uh, mercenaries actually. Start hitting these people back. Let's get these two, actually let's take two. Let's go there. Because now they are sieging our fort down here, we should hopefully be able to hit them back. Let's just try and get some morale back before we attack them. Nope, oh, they, they escaped. <coughs> that is fine. We're just gonna move up here, see where they're going after this. We move up here and we split and we move into here. Should be good. 
you can actually be having a because we don't have a siege leader in any army right now right exactly you can go up here actually let's see what you do you're just gonna sit around or you're gonna attack me still just desert so actually you are moving up you can be with me and hey Jess, are you just gonna hang out down here? No? Where's hey Jess? There, there, so yes, perfect. So let's try and bring them up here. We should, I should actually be in a good position to start mopping something up here. Right. Hey Jess. Where are you going? Really? Really? Are you not gonna join me? Not optimal. <clears throat> well, I mean, if you just want to sit there and waste your manpower, that's perfectly fine with me. I have absolutely no problem with that whatsoever. How much are you losing every month? You're gaining every month. Fine. But you're still losing manpower, so that's cool. So, good harvest. We can get either money or administered power. We probably take the administrative power actually. It's perfect. Money, there's always more money to be had, but administrative power is always good. So can you actually start moving up here now, hey Jess? They're moving something at least. I'm gonna try and start sieging again. That's fine with me, I think. This, this is a good province. This is actually a mountain province, so this is a good fort. So even with down here, actually. Okay, so you're just not gonna hang out with me, are you? Hey, Jazz. Thank you. Oh, we still don't want your offer. That's not a good offer. We're just gonna go attack these now. Hey, Jazz can hopefully join in. Because it's a mountain, so they're gonna have a hard time with kicking our ass, I think. Doesn't look good, but uh, whatever does look good in this game, huh? I had high hopes for this battle, but apparently that was not to be. So you're gonna move a little bit back. That's fine, I push them back a bit. Consolidate these. Save up some more manpower. And you start moving up here. We can just get these... Yeah, see, they also have a problem with uh, some separatists there. That's actually a good thing for me. They are taking over provinces now. It's actually good. Uh, this is not that good for me, I think. So we don't want Amirs to lose loyalty because we already used the call diet. Uh, what's the other option? Lose trade efficiency and the merchant skill lose 20. We don't want that either. Which one is the worst? Actually, the manpower recovery speed is something that we desperately want right now. So, sorry, merchant skills. But the armies are going to kick your butts. That's fine. So, they're gonna be uh, disloyal for a little bit, but that's slowly ticking up to 40, so it should be good. You still want me to see the province? I'll say no, thank you. So that's fine, we're gonna move up to the next fort up here. Do we want to do that or do we want to try and kick them back actually? Feels like it's either or in this case. We do have like a double sized army compared to them. But on the other hand, do I want them to move back here? You know what? Probably I do. Let's move you there and move you down here. Because they're not close to taking out that fort right now. And if they move back, they might actually start uh, handling these uh, rebels over here. Right, let's try and see if... Let's try and make this count, right? Hey, yes, you can move in with us, please. Thank you. That's lovely. Right when they get to zero as well. That's beautiful. No. Oh, come on, game. That's not fair. Bunch of peasants just 
screwed me over. Hopefully they, yeah, perfect. They were able to withstand that attack. So that cost a bit, but we did win. We did fight them back. We're gonna keep consolidating. You are not the siege general, so you move up there and you move up there. That is nice, still. Because hopefully they'll start dealing with their rebels. See, see, now they're actually one of the white piece. We're making some headway. Because they have uh, rebels actually taking out forts now, which they will need to be taken care of. So hopefully we'll actually be able to take this province and perhaps even a few more provinces. We should need to do take this fort actually in order to be able to take... We could uh, probably actually take provinces down here, I think. Since there's no uh, immediate fort, we'll see. For now, let's just take back our provinces. I really would have wanted to be in a, in a f war with Tunis by now. But if we start a war right now, we actually don't get Granada. We can probably already get Fessen on board with us as soon as this war is over. So with a little bit of luck, we can actually take quite a lot of Tunis. What is this war, by the way? Is this the... It's the Castilian... Yeah, exactly, this is the... Uh, the Granada, the Reconquista here. So that shouldn't have a big impact on Tunis, hopefully. We don't want Tunis to lose that many uh, provinces, because, you know, we want those provinces. Right, so we are sieging down this, hopefully. Hey, Jess is actually moving in to help us. You don't have to be with that group anymore. You can move out. Let's see if you can move out here. That is beautiful. We're still with white piece? Nope. Oh, poor Hey, Jess. Paul should be going there to help, hopefully. We're just gonna go towards legalism, I believe. Yep, we've lost quite a bit of power here, so move up to legalism. Well, that's nice of you, fellow, but uh, that's not gonna be enough, sadly. Well, we do have our one province that we need, that's good. I'm just gonna switch it over to follow immediately, even though I'm probably losing it. Did I take care of this? Nope, still rebels attacking. Perfect. We can actually start moving you up here, just to be standing here. Be keeping an eye on this province. Let's see if we can get a bit of a luck going on here. Can we take this? Nope, we couldn't, but we got a plus 21% there, so that's good. So I think th that was a, p a pretty rough start to this, uh, to this series, absolutely. Uh, and also we got some rebels, of course. Yep, they're gonna have to be standing there for a while before we get down there and take care of that. But yeah, there was a this was a pretty rough start to this series, I think. But QQ not easy, and me not being that good. I mean, that's basically a recipe for a recipe for disaster. But I'm actually pretty happy still. I mean, we turned the tide. A, a bit into this war. We uh, cleared out the uh, two other nations pretty fast at least. And with a few lucky hits we actually were able to... Oh, I say that and immediately we got some uh, particularists. That means that I haven't really been checking out my rebel factions, I realize. Can I actually... Am I actually fine if I just... Can I even do anything with that? Nope, I cannot. Let's see if I can take this back before they... Okay, fine. Can I take that back? Am I good enough? I think I am, actually. They just come save me, please. That should be enough. Thank you. You're gonna have to... Okay, we lost a lot of men there. I'm gonna consolidate that, even though there is basically no people left in this army. So we're gonna have to uh, fill that up immediately, and we're done. So where are we now? Could I actually get this little province here? Can I get this little province? I cannot. 
it's not yeah exactly we don't have any sieges down on any forts are you taking that fort back no we are not can we take that fort and take do we need prestige we don't need prestige let's take the money we're actually losing money right now so let's do take that money so let's move up here see if we can actually do something with this fort here yep so our best bet is to take down this fort see if we can because uh... if you take this fort we could absolutely take a few provinces here for uh, the sake of fatal which is going to be really good and of course we get the rebels coming in that's not what i wanted at all actually <laughs> this is not going as planned let me say yes this is not going as planned I don't like Ethiopia. I don't want Ethiopia to like me. We're not gonna apologize to Ethiopia. Screw you guys. Sarcastic reply. So, why did you even move up here again? That's... That's not nice. I'm just wondering what... What are the QQ troops doing? they've lost a fort up here as well they might have any, not even be able to get to me actually can I just take this little province up here we have to move you back try and consolidate they have a big army <laughs> that's not good and they seem to be moving really I mean rebels usually aren't moving this fast Seems like we're just gonna keep losing our troops. This is not good. And they just stack wipe that army. That's fine then. While we're just standing here, we're actually gonna need to start building up this army. So let's start training as many troops as we actually can here. So we're gonna need it. That's that's good. So what do you want now? Still white piece? I'm not really happy with white piece, at least not yet. I do want to get something out of this. Oh, they've been down here as well. Or they are down here, they're trying to take off them. Well, that's fine. <coughs> you know, hey, just you can start moving about if you want to. I have my permission. Yeah, I did not see this <laughs> coming at all. They're actually just standing there. How close are you actually to coming back? That's not good, actually. This, yeah, you are actually moving towards your demand. That's not good. I don't want to lose that. You know what? I'm actually just going to take the decision right away. And I'm going to actually piece these out. Okay, so do I really have to wait for you to offer me white piece? Oh, sorry. I had that one checked. Can I get some money from you? No, no money at all. You know what? Fine, QQ. I got something out of this. I got, hey, yes, a little bit of uh, extra land. That's gonna be. I'm gonna chalk it up as a <laughs> very, very slight victory, but um, we're coming back, QQ. Just you wait. So, with that in done we are going to move back and we're gonna do everything else that we were supposed to be doing we are going to make you into a we can't do that right now because you don't think that i have a big army that's not good do you think they have a big army no you do not think that i have a big army that's fine i'm getting a few bits and pieces coming in see already so we're gonna offer you an alliance that is perfect. We are going to... How much do you think that I need right now? My economic base is good. That's probably correct. Uh, let's take away the mercenaries. We don't need you anymore. Yeah, we just basically need to build up our army at this point. Which is fine. I uh, can totally agree with that. So we're actually got a mission here. We have two allies, that's cool. We can actually take that diplomatic reputation, that's actually gonna help us. 
We also have uh, to enter the annexation cost. We're going to wait with that one because if we do want to annex something, that's going to come in handy. So let's just leave that be. And everyone here is going to have to start helping out with the uh, Miklef troops down here. Where are you? You're still a bit of a way. That's good. So we can get the Moorish influx, which means that we get we lose a bit of diplomatic power and administrative power, but we do get base tax in Akmin, which is never bad. So let's just take that as a. It might be a bit expense expensive for one base tax. We also do get the technology cost and idea cost for is it five years? Oh, it's actually oh, it's twenty five years. That's actually really good, so obviously we're gonna do that. Castile might not like us, but uh, I'm cool with that. So everybody just move down here. Uh, we're just gonna wait for our regiments to keep recruiting. We're gonna move you down here. Actually, you know what? You don't have to train that many troops. That's not effective at all, actually. Nope, sorry. Oh, pardon. Remove that and instead train here, here, and here. Can invite a scholar at this point. And the one we can get is development cost, but I don't really like the development cost, so that's perfectly fine. Essen, where are we? You need a little bit more relations. Where are we on improved relations? 8, 8, 12 more. We could do this. We can offer military access. That's an easy way to get a little bit more relation. How are you? You are not good. Still, still want me to be a little bit stronger. That is perfectly fine and reasonable. We can actually tech up now, I think we're absolutely fine with picking up at this point, since we're not doing much else. We can actually tech up one more time for 4 and 82, that's actually, yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna unlock our first ID group, and we are going to take, as I mentioned before, the offensive ideas, because we do want the uh, siege ability. It's gonna help us a whole lot, especially against both QQ and Ottomans. So let's do that. We're, I usually play a little bit defensively when it comes to idea groups. Uh, I usually take up admin tech 10 before I even start using these idea groups, which I, I don't know if that's a, a good way to play the game or not, but uh, it's what I've been doing lately, so... What I normally do is I take up to 10 administrative tech, which is when you get your third ID group, and take 8 at least for diplomatic and military, so that you don't get the uh, negative impact on unbalanced technology. So, with this army we're gonna have to start moving down here and help out Hages clearing out these rebels. And hopefully the, they are going to be friendly with me soon enough for me to make them into my vassal. I think my economic base should be good. I don't really know what they mean by that. I mean, I'm making money, right? I mean, this is fine. I think. Apparently not, but... So let's just move down here. You move in with me, if you please. Let's take down the smaller ones in the mountains, where there are mountains everywhere. <laughs> Hopefully this shouldn't be a problem. We're taking care of this quite handily. Nice victory, and we're actually going to move in here immediately. Like Hey, just take that back. Uh, right, let's also check in on Fetsan. We can do one last thing to... Uh, what was it that you can do? Well, we can do a royal marriage, is what we can do. We can do a royal marriage. At this point, 
we're good to go to make them into our vessel. Uh, skill one year prestige. That's actually pretty good. Extra prestige and extra prestige and a more cheap admin uh, advisor. That's pretty good actually. And we are done with the rebels. That is good. We're gonna remove that and we can consolidate. You can take that back yourself. I'm gonna start moving up. We are also going to start putting down a claim over here. It's gonna. We're a little bit behind from what I usually do in these games. Uh, so where are you? You are only allied to Fessen. That's actually extremely, extremely good because we're gonna make Fessen into our vassals. You're not gonna have any allies whatsoever. We don't don't have any army, so we're not gonna really want to attack anytime soon. Uh, as for unrest, where are we right now? We're at plus 0.74. That's not good. So we don't want to stress that that much, actually. I do want some more money, so we're actually going to take a manpower hit. That's fine for now, I think. Uh, it's going to have to be fine for now, because, yeah. We're still a bit away to even have a full army, so... Having a, a smaller total manpower is probably not going to be that big of a deal. So let's just do that. Do we still have a bit of war exhaustion as well? So we're going to just have to get back on our feet, I think. We are going to start to get some more troops in. We only have, we only have the little one cavalry. We're actually going to start with that, I think. Yeah. Let's just get three cavalry going here. Should be good, and Hages has effectively done this now. You are still think that I'm not strong enough. That's annoying. But Fesen, my dear friend. Why am I doing this? That's not good. Bring that one back. And we immediately offer a visitation to Fesen. Hello Fezen, welcome to the club. So now we have Fezen. Do you have any claims? Yeah. You, well, actually, that's my claim. That's fine. We can give Fezen those things as well. So I basically plan on probably feeding Fezen all of this as much as possible. I think that should be actually pretty good. So that's that. We are slowly getting our army back together. Let's just do uh, Muslim arch over here. Nope, oh, nope, no military access for you. Yeah, so we're now we're getting our military power back up. The uh, Medina should be more susceptible to us. Should be good. But you know, I actually think that this is enough for now. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. This is EU4 with a playthrough of the Mamluks. This has been Ghost Mode Gaming. I'm Christopher, and uh, good day, everybody, and we'll see you soon again.